Hi, I'm Matt Seaman with the Consortium for Service Innovation, a not-for-profit industry alliance focused on customer engagement. And today I want to talk about intelligent swarming. Intelligent swarming has been developed by the members of the consortium and is owned by the Consortium for Service Innovation. It has proven to be the most efficient way to solve work. It does this by getting the right work to the right people, the right people to the right people, and inspiring everybody to contribute to overall success. When we think about the world of support services, it is ever growing in its complexity. We face dynamic forces like ever-changing technology landscapes, multi-vendor cross-product issues, growing customer expectations often set outside of our organization, shifting work environments, and a shortage of skilled resources. In this complexity, we are still asked to reduce customer effort, improve employee engagement, increase customer success and loyalty, and of course, improve operational efficiency. The traditional support model of level one, level two, level three, or frontline, backline escalation is not equipped to handle the complexity we live in today. In this model, we force every issue through a linear process. If level one is unable to solve an issue, it is passed on to level two. If level two cannot solve the issue, it is passed on to level three. In this model, there is very little skills transfer between levels and our customers are often forced to redo work as they move from level to level. This model really does nothing but contribute to overall frustration of our customers and our people and create inefficiencies. Intelligent swarming is the response. We need an environment that facilitates collaboration, optimizes resources, builds the breadth and depth of skills we need in our organization, enables a sense of self-empowerment in our people, and focuses on the customer. We need dynamic, fluid, adaptive, network-based organizations that can sense and respond to complexity. Intelligent swarming helps us improve relevance. Our interactions are emergent and focused on the matter at hand. We don't drive everything through a hierarchy-based linear process. It helps us expand our reach. We treat our organizations like the expansive network of talented people they are to support each other. It increases diversity. It taps into and develops a broad range of perspectives, skills, and knowledge that are needed. And it enables collaboration. It makes it easy and low effort to work across the arbitrary boundaries that we build. Intelligence swarming is made up of three practices, connect, collaborate, and recognize. In Connect, we want to make work visible to the best resources to solve the work on first touch or as close to first touch as possible. In Collaborate, we want to get help on work from anyone with the knowledge to help. And in Recognize, we want to understand and recognize the contributions of individuals and teams to the overall success of the organization. In the practice of Connect, in order to make work visible to the most relevant people, we need to have robust people profiles and work profiles. People profiles are made up of someone's identity, the skills they have, both broad and deep, and their reputation or history of contribution. And the work profiles are the attributes of the work item itself. We wanna have a common classification model where we share attributes across our people and our work. And we build a visibility engine, which is really decision processing. What are the requirements and the rules that we need to make work visible to the right people? What we know about our people, what we know about our work, and a common classification model power our visibility engine. In the practice of collaborate, we want to make it as easy as possible for teams to work together to solve issues across time and space. How do I make it easy for people to raise their hand and ask for help? And how do we make it easy for people to offer help? Opting in to assist in relevant help requests and having visibility to work that they may be able to offer assistance on. Offering help is not just a reaction to a help request. And capturing what we learn. The work owner captures knowledge from the collaboration space to ensure we're always building a robust knowledge base. In the practice of recognize, 
We want to understand and recognize all of the skills that make us successful. We have our success indicators. How is intelligence swarming impacting the overall business outcomes? Intelligence swarming doesn't necessarily change our business outcomes. It changes how we reach our business outcomes. What are the health indicators of intelligence swarming? How is intelligence swarming functioning? What are the KPIs we need to add to our overall organization? And contributions. How are individuals and teams contributing to overall success? <clears throat> we want to shift away from activity-based measures to overall contribution. And remember, everyone can achieve the highest level of contribution. We want to move away from leaderboards and stack ranking. The three practices and their associated design techniques work together to build intelligent swarming. Intelligence warming is wholly beneficial. Our customers benefit, our employees benefit, and our business benefits. Customers benefit because we're getting the right work to the right people as fast as we can. This ensures we reduce customer effort and provide a consistent experience. And most importantly, we resolve issues faster in an intelligent swarming world. The employee benefit. So we tap into the intrinsic motivators of mastery, autonomy, and purpose. We see accelerated learning skills growth, and we recognize people for the total contribution they have, not just tasks that they complete. And the business benefits. We see greatly reduced work, which adds a lot of operational efficiency. We see increased employee engagement and increased customer success. To learn more about intelligence swarming, visit serviceinnovation.org. We have the Intelligent Swarming Practices Guide, which talks about the three practices and the associated design techniques for each practice and adoption and rollout of intelligent swarming. We have our online training and certification, an interactive self-paced course to give you an understanding of the benefits, principles, and concepts of intelligent swarming and an associated certification. We also have real-world case studies of companies that have implemented intelligent swarming and the outcomes that they're seeing. I hope you found this useful as a very brief overview of intelligence swarming, and please visit us at serviceinnovation.org.